problem with mitochondria is that your nuclear DNA, which, which is where most of your DNA is stored, is uh, in a, a cell nucleus that's well protected by the immune system. It has a spooling system where the DNA gets wrapped up around histones and it uh, is organized into chromosomes and they're all pretty well protected from the environment. And so uh, a, a few things can mutate those, but the, the mutation rate there is 20 times slower than it is for your mitochondrial DNA, which are sort of out, out in the open as little rings exposed rings that are near the machinery that's making the ATP energy and producing uh, various bad bad things. And furthermore, the nuclear DNA has <clears throat> much more accurate replication mechanisms. Uh, it doesn't replicate as often. It only replicates when cells are divided. So, so the, if there are replication errors, they don't happen as often. In the mitochondrial DNA, the replication of the DNA rings is going on continuously all the time, independent of whether the mitochondria are dividing or are doing anything else. So the, the, uh, there are enzymes that are replicating the DNA as fast as they can. And uh, <clears throat> these, this, this replication enzyme makes errors. Uh, and uh, it makes two kinds of errors. It makes point mutation errors where it m puts in the wrong base pair when it's doing the replication. And it also makes deletion errors where in, when it comes to a double break in the DNA, it jumps a thousand or so uh, base pairs down the line and then starts up again. And so the net, net result is you end, with a, end up with a mitochondrial ring that has maybe 15% of its, of its base pairs missing. Um, and those are, those are not doing their job properly because some of the genes are, have, been, have been deleted uh, and they're shorter. And so when they come to be replicated again, the replication enzyme can replicate them faster because it has, it, 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 they can replicate them about 20 times faster if, if, if there's 3,000 base pairs missing. Um, and um, so over a period of time, the damaged ones get replicated much more more efficiently than the undamaged ones, and they and this creates an exponential rise in in the damaged mitochondria. And there's a a, a German group uh, uh, that a few years ago did a study of of German men uh, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, between the ages of twenty and and eighty. Uh, I guess there were fifteen or so people participants, uh, and they took their muscle tissue and, and used, uh, used, uh, um, um, what do you call it? Um, nano, they used nanopore sequencing in order to measure directly the, uh, the condition of their mitochondrial DNA. And they found that between 20 and 65, the, there was an exponential rise in the damage for the deletions greater than 3,000 3, base pairs that had a doubling time of around 11 years. And after 65, for some reason, the slope changed very dramatically and the doubling time went down to three years so that every uh, three or so years, you have twice as much mitochondrial DNA damage as you did the year before, uh, the three years previously. Uh, this is perhaps why 65 years is a sort of the, the canonical retirement age, because that's the point at which people suddenly have this exponential rise, change its slope, and, 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 and you age much more rapidly than you had been in the previous 65 years. Um, and um, anyway, so that, that's quite scary. Uh, and uh, it, it explains a lot about how, about how, how fast <clears throat> things are going. Uh, one question that re this raises is why? What? Why 65 years? Why is that some kind of a magic number for when the uh, when the replication, where the, when the uh, the damage rate increases? And my guess is that what's happening is that you have a process called mitophagy, where the uh, there are enzymes that go around looking at the my individual mitochondria and measuring their inner intermembrane potential, which is how they store energy for producing the the ATP. And if that intermembrane potential is too low, then they signal the hit squad that comes along and destroys the mitochondria and uh, and, and and signals other mitochondria that they could they should 
uh, they should uh, fission into two mitochondria and, and produce more. And that process requires a lot of energy. And so when the energy is, is abundant, then mitophagia can do its job and, and keep your mito mitochondrial damage relatively low. But after the energy drops to a certain level, then there's not enough energy to support mitophagy in, in an efficient way. And so that's probably why the slope changes at, at 65 years. I, I don't, that's, that's my theory. I have no evidence to support it, but it seems reasonable. Um,